Hello and welcome to That Sports Gamer Show, episode number 73 for October 14th. That's a Tuesday because of Scott's new work schedule. We have no idea when the show is going to come out. Uh, but we're always talking about sports video games over here. As always, I'm your host, TJ Lowerman, a.k.a. That Sports Gamer. And who is my co-host? Scott, Scott Binns. Binns. Scott I Binns. I don't know if you're introducing me or not. I was uh, confused there. Yeah, I was just kind of throwing it out, checking out, trying some new stuff out at the beginning. As always, you know, just trying to have fun. Yeah, Tuesday might actually be a safe bet from now on because I should be able to record Monday night sometime. Well, sometime before Tuesday morning, I think. Well, what if the Packers are playing on Monday Night Football or Sunday Night Football? Well, one of those other nights should be free then. All right, excellent. Scott Bins, give me your ALCS uh, pick: Tigers or Red Sox? Quick. Uh, Tigers. All right. Series is tied one apiece. Scott, give me your NLCS pick: uh, Dodgers or Cardinals? Cardinals are up 2-1 as of this recording. Cardinals. All right. And I think last I checked in on the score, uh, Dodgers were winning. So. Yeah, I'm sticking strictly in with the Midwest here. Uh, sure. That's uh, going to be the most boring World Series, I assume, that no one will watch it. <laughs> that's that's always how that seems to pan out. It, it's almost sad I don't work at the TV station anymore because I had one coworker who was a Tigers fan. It's been so much fun watching him just melt down the last couple of years. It's not good. That's very mean. I hope they win this year. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I think I think I I hope they do too. Especially for Prince. So. So Scott Bands, you're now a man working nine to five, as the song says. Hell, hell no, nine to five. But anyway. Uh, so with your new schedule, what have you been playing? Well, uh, I've pretty much just been playing NHL and Madden when I can. Not a whole lot of each, although I have decided I'm. The usual cycle of I'm once again done with be a pro slash live the life in NHL 14, just because yeah it's not that interesting. Yeah, I haven't even touched it. Is it really any different than last year? Oh, it's got the questions in it now, right? Yeah, that's that's like the difference. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it, the thing is, it's good. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the mode. I think it's actually done really well. It might be one of the. I mean, it's not it's not the show. I think the show does it the best because you actually have to fight your way to, you know, right. earn a position. Right. But, uh, you know, it, it's done really well, especially now with the ice time and the simulating, but that's been a year or two now. But, uh, no, I've actually been spending a lot of time in Ultimate Team. In Hockey Ultimate Team? Both Ultimate Teams, actually. Amazing. Yeah, the uh, the 10 game the ten game season is really keeping me interested now because it's something to keep playing for. Ugh, I played... I've now played two games online of uh, HUT, the NHL 14 Hockey Ultimate Team. Uh, one was good, I won, and the second one had about nine fights in it. <laughs> I mean, partially, I guess that's my fault for hitting Y. Yeah, you, you can avoid fighting. It's, it's not that hard. But I was pretty pissed because the guy laid out, I think, my left wing, who was like an 82, in maybe seven seconds into the game. So I was like, I gotta stand up for myself. I never won one of those fights, but I lost the game in a shootout. Right trigger is your friend. Dodge. Yeah. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. I know. I put him. I pushed him to the brink a bunch of times. I just couldn't get that knockout blow. Yeah. I I I only fight if it's if it would actually be warranted. Like if someone got hurt or there was a big cheap shot. Mm -hmm. But not like the guy who's guys who try and fight like before the face off all the time or constantly just shoot the puck into the net after the whistle. Oh, you mean so like when I play you in our TSG Triple D games? Cause, yeah. Because yeah, we, we know it's big hits back and forth and at some point we're just going to have to throw down. Yeah. Oh, I got a funny story about our league, by the way. Apparently I don't like winning. Oh, hey. Um, I was playing my game against Montreal and I was up one nothing at the end of the first period and for some unknown reason I selected to exit the game. Nice. I've done that in pro clubs, going into, like, halftime or at the end of the game, going into overtime. I'll just be yeah. like, yeah, exit. No, nah, probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. So we started over, and then I lost the game one nothing. Uh, see, I Scott. Not, I'm not off to a good start in our league. I have come to the point where I just want to play the human games, and I don't really want to waste my time with the CPU games. Yeah, I, I don't like the CPU games at all either. And my team is good enough that, in theory... I can actually make the playoffs if I don't play all the games, <laughs> which uh, was a problem last season when I was playing all the games and didn't make the playoffs. But I'm like, I'm like in my Blackhawks. 
Haven't had any uh, real problems with them. Been putting up some good games. Patrick oh, game is pretty I, sweet. Oh, apparently I killed Sidney Crosby today. He is not on your team, I'm hoping. No, he is not. Oh, all right. I, but I but I killed him. Well, that's that's good then. For everyone else, yes. I, I don't know. That's what uh, that's what the guy told me after the game. Oh, I think one of my guys got something, or maybe it was in the ultimate team. Someone got hurt. People can get injured in ultimate team, right? Yeah, but they're only be. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone be out for more than like six games. Damn it! I think that one guy is actually hurt from that yeah, ultimate the, team fight. The, the trick with hockey ultimate team is that uh, when someone gets hurt, it's a specific injury. And you have to have the appropriate card to heal that injury. Like right. If it's an arm injury, you have to have an arm injury heal card. Do they have the heal all or no? There might be there might be some of those too, but they're probably hard to come by. I haven't dove that deep into Hockey Ultimate Team. Way too much time yeah. with a uh, FIFA Ultimate Team. Yeah, and I, I still think Hockey Ultimate Team is the best Ultimate Team, but that's just my opinion. Oh, Scott, I found a huge problem with Hockey Ultimate Team. I thought that best lineup button actually did what the Madden one does, where it pulls guys off your bench. Oh, no, it doesn't. I learned that because I may or may not have uh, gotten confused by when Thanksgiving was and bought some big Super Thanksgiving pack and then had a bunch of cards, and they weren't going onto my squad. Yeah, they're probably sitting in your collection. Like yeah. Does. yeah, and then I had to create a new squad, get all the good players onto it, and then do the best lineup card. Yeah, it's pretty easy. To, <sighs> what, I, what I do when I'm buying a new pack is... I will cycle out the good cards with the bad cards that are sitting on my scratch roster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what got... I that's what I do with uh, uh, FIFA. If the guys aren't going to be in one of the squads that I have set up, I just put them to the transfer list, and I don't ever want to see those cards again. Yeah, that's and that's kind of what I that's what I've been doing both in both Ultimate teams now is I just cycle out cards I'm not using, and now I'm actually keeping myself in money a lot more. I've yeah. actually built up my Madden Ultimate team to be like an 82 now. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. And uh, I did. I, I spent some money, but I bought I bought those packs that like support breast cancer awareness. So I don't know oh, really nice. about it. Did you get any good uh, good BCA cards out of those? Um, who did I get? I got a like eighty eight Tony Gonzalez, some tight end. It's not bad. Oh, uh, sure. I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but I don't think it was Tony Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the one I remember. I don't remember who else I got. Yeah, there's some uh, some pretty good cards out there. And now it seems like with all those uh, special promos and stuff they've been having, there's a lot of the good cards are dropping lower in price. Yeah, well, that's the thing is I'm never going to go after a specific card. Why not, Scott? You need to be focusing on your chemistry. Eh. See? I'm, I'm doing pretty good without it. I think you need to do... I like that you've used your excuse of uh, the breast cancer awareness as reason to spend money on Ultimate Team. <laughs> yeah, only reason I did. Because, uh, yeah, I bought some of those packs. Uh, though, you know who I did swoop? I had, like, in, like, the last week and a half, uh, the answer is you either pulled Greg Olson, Antonio Gates, or Jared Cook. I mean, it was Gates then. It must have right. been Gates. Uh, yeah, so I've blown about more coin than you'll ever have in the last week and a half or so. How do you even get that much? That's the part that... Scott, I don't understand. Scott, you gotta work. Money. You gotta work that market. You just saw those new, those two new collectibles come out. The two new collections came out today for uh, something something North players and something something East players. Then you gotta go through all your cards, make sure you got those guys, and you sell them. Top of the market. So I bought. Yeah, uh, I'm just selling guys because you can only have 20 auctions going at a time. So I'm just selling guys as I have room. Right, but are you looking up how much you're going for? Or are you just guessing? I... Never guess. You're guessing. Never guess. You're dropping bronzes. You don't know what's going on. Well, here's the thing: is I own, what I do is I just I jack up the price on all my cards. Like I, I try and just drive up the auction price. What? Explain this to me, Scott. I, I just I set a ridiculously high buy now that no one will ever actually pay. Mm -hmm. And then I just I just let the auction run. It's kind of the opposite of how you should be doing it, Scott. It works for me. I mean, I get more coins than I would if I just quick sold anything. I've gotten, I've gotten a few big hits. Like I said, I'd, I'd forget what it was. I sold some for like two thousand coins. Yeah, that's not a big hit, Scott. What you well, got to do is you got to search the block to see what they're up there for, and you put your buy now at one coin less than their buy now. Mm -mm. That's how it works. That's that's how you got to play the game. 
That's how I was able to pick up... Uh, That's too much work. Just from going through my reserves. Because some of those gold guys are like... Five, ten thousand coin. You gotta be... That's why you gotta be looking. Scott, I don't have time to give you a whole lecture on... Uh, Whatever. I'm... I'm having fun with it. Let me have fun with it the way I want to have fun with it. Yeah, but you got to be working that market. Because I just picked up Warren Sapp, that new dope one that's like a 96 overall, 97. Just picked, Warren Sapp. just picked up Marshall Falk, who's a 97 and unstoppable. And uh, some other dope cards. Hmm. Let me know if you need anything. Did you pick a chemistry, Scott? Uh, whatever Clay Matthews is when I started. The, the red one or the gold one? The gold one. Pass Rush, maybe? Might be a pass rush. The gold ones uh, run stuff. Not the gold. The red ones run stuff. Hmm. That's why I went with run stuff because I pulled the Clay Matthews in my first bundle. I was, like, I was like, Clay Matthews is a beast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this. Uh, anyway, the only other thing I've really been playing is Star Wars Pinball on my 3DS. Scott, I need to get one of them 2DS, 3DS things. So you can play Pokemon, which yes. came out last week, by the way. I know. I need to get it. <laughs> <laughs> um. What have I been playing? I've been playing a lot of Mutt. I'm pretty good. I'm in, like, the third best thing. No, fourth best thing. Like, all pro second string. Of all the divisions and all that? Yeah. So I've... you're, you're like, winning... You're earning packs just by, like, playing games. Uh, if I make the playoffs, I think I earn a pack. Something like that. Uh, but, yeah, I think I'm in, like, the top 150 mm -hmm. or something players. Like, if you go off that leaderboard thing. Yeah, you... I don't want to play you. <laughs> Well, I'm also good at sports video games, <laughs> sometimes. Also, Scott, let me tell you something. People ask me this all the time. How do you win at Ultimate Team? The answer is, if you're going to play online, don't do it after 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's literally the trick. That's all you need to know. After ten I haven't figured out what the problem is. I don't know if it's all the jerks that put their kids to sleep on the East Coast, or if it's all those West Coast kids getting online. It's one of those two, but... After 10.30, I, t I tend not to play an online head-to-head -head game. <laughs> yeah, with my new job, I haven't been playing much after that time anyway, so... So, that's... that's Again, actually, most, most of my playing has been, if I work in the, uh... If I work at night, I start at 2, so I'll play sometime in the morning, uh, early afternoon. And if I work in the morning, I get done at, like, 2, and then I'll play for a little bit when I get home. But, yeah, I never, like, you know, prime time, as it were. Right. I think that's in just in general for playing games. You avoid the jerks by playing at odd hours. Yeah, or extra early in the night. Like, yeah. finish dinner and get on. <laughs> and hopefully those little kids that are jerks aren't aren't on already by the time you get there. Uh, yeah, I've been playing the same amount of FIFA as, er, as NHL as you, I guess. Uh, I do need to advance my NCAA league. I should probably do that. I think we're in, like, position changes. Uh, Madden, just mutt. I literally still have not... Damn it, Scott. Thanks for. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was about to literally just to. literally just reminded myself that I still have not signed up for that league that we uh, that you set up last week. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. But yeah, man, you got to work that auction house. Eh, that's too much work. And uh, foot. I want to spend my time playing games. Nah, that's not fun. It's funny. Uh, when I stream on Twitch, I notice that I have more viewers while I'm just doing stupid crap in the auction house. But then when I start playing a game, people leave. Uh. <laughs> Uh, other than that, playing a lot of FIFA. Uh, actually, um, myself and the one and only Rich Grisham uh, teamed up a little bit on the... Uh, he did a FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Guide for Games Radar uh, oh, okay. that I worked with him on. Uh, that's at the link that will be in the show notes because it's uh, gamesradar.com slash FIFA dash 14 dash ultimate dash team dash guide. And uh, it's pretty sweet. I think I need to do more blog posts about FIFA Ultimate Team. And cheap squads that are legit that you can make for really cheap. I think that's something that I need to start doing. Uh, other than that, I really wanted to play some pro baseball spirits yesterday. Uh, and then I realized that the PlayStation is in the living room. <laughs> because I want to check out this uh, Masahiro... T yeah, Masahiro Tanaka. Uh, I don't know if you heard, Scott. Uh, in the... What is that called? Uh, JPL? Baseball reference. Let me pull this up. In the uh, Japanese Baseball League, he went 20-0, and 0, uh, which is the most wins for a league leader and most least losses for wow. a win leader in something. You know, 20-0, pretty good with a 1.24 ERA 
come into an American team near you next year. <laughs> Though absolutely not near you because he's either going to the East Coast or the West Coast. <laughs> so, not really near you. Uh, other than that... Uh, I, I don't it? know. We, we, we've got Aoki. Well, he's still there. How's he doing? All right. No, he's pretty popular. Pretty fun to watch. I just saw uh, Tadaguchi did pretty good uh, this year in Japan. Surprised he was still there. Uh, other than that... Go oh, ahead. Funny, st- funny story about... Uh, I was I did catch the end of... It must have been game one of the uh, ALCS. Mm-hmm. The n- almost no-hitter? Yeah. The, here's the thing. is, you know, I got home from work and I flipped the game on. And uh, first off, I joked, like, <laughs> I'm glad I don't work at the TV station anymore because I'd be stuck sitting here watching this thing. Um, wishing I could go home. And then I'm watching the game, and, you know, they get a hit. And I'm like, oh, there goes the no-hitter. And I'm like, there was a no-hitter? Mm-hmm. I think uh, one out in the ninth it went to. Yeah. But... It was just one of those things where I, I'd flip the game on, and I'm not really paying attention to it. And, you know, I, I looked at the score and, you know, who was the home team and all that, and I never even occurred to me until the hit happened that it was a no-hitter. And then the like, next... Oh, wow, I could have been watching history here. Then the next night, uh, they went six and a third or six and two-thirds without uh, letting the Red Sox have a hit. Wow. Oh, I remember, you know, and then you're like, it was a one nothing game with, like, what, five hits, and it took, like, four hours. Four hours. hours. <laughs> yeah. How is that possible? I don't know, but Seth Smith Sports probably killed himself while he was watching it. Uh, Scott, you know the other game I've been playing way too much of recently? No. Candy Crush yet again. Oh, <laughs> I actually got like, anytime I see a request from you in Candy Crush, I just want to punch you. My bad. I think, I think, uh, Jeff Solomon stopped following me on Facebook because of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. That is hilarious. I'm stuck on 147 right now. Still crushing though. Oh, Scott, should we talk about some news, maybe? Yeah, let's, let's talk about some news. Good thing we took all that time talking about that stuff, because news is kind of boring this week. All right. Uh, hey, NBA Live 14 on PS4 oh, and Xbox. Hey, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. I'm Yo. sorry. I want to back up to one other thing I've, I've started playing. Boop, boop, yep. boop. <laughs> because it's just sort of totally off the wall. I started playing Final Fantasy uh, 4 to the first one on the Super Nintendo, whichever one you want to look at it. And I don't re- I don't know why. I just kind of felt like trying to play that again. So they've always had ridiculous numbering. Uh, well, it, w- it was Final Fantasy two when it first came out in the U.S. It was Final Fantasy four in Japan, and eventually they they basically they stopped using the U.S. numbering scheme and started calling them all by the Japanese numbers when Final Fantasy seven came over. Because I think in in the U.S. it went one two three seven. So, NBA Live 14 on the PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, I just wanted to mention I've been playing that, so I know we wouldn't talk about it at all. So, Scott, don't worry. That's uh, highly relevant because sports games don't know how to number themselves anyway, so. That's true. Just about as much sense as it makes. Uh, NBA 14, NBA Live 14 on the PS4 and Xbox One version will be no different. Does that excite you? Did I miss the part where games are different on the different systems now? Scott Bins, did you know that merely more than a week ago, myself and Rich Grisham went into beautiful New York City and got to play uh, Madden NFL 25 using the Xbox exclusive Coach Glass. I, I did. Well, I didn't know about that, but I did know that you guys were going because you, you told me very off the record. Yeah. But yeah. Coach Glass is a difference between the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version. Oh, uh, okay. So, I, I kind of, it's one of those things where that, oh, that hasn't been a thing now, so I don't get why it would be a thing, or it hasn't been a thing now, so I don't get why it would be a thing going forward, unless you get something like Smart Glass involved. Or the PS4 touchpad, which will be used for some basic functionality uh, around team management. Hmm. Uh, they will not currently support the Xbox One's cloud services, uh, and also nothing for Connect. Interesting. What if they brought NBA Baller Beats into NBA Live? <laughs> Just throwing that out there. That would be amazing. I mean, my dogs would probably, well, I'm sure one dog would probably take a basketball to the head. <laughs> but that would also require me buying an Xbox One, and guess what? Not doing that. Uh, let's see. Pasta Padre thinks that NBA Live 14 missed their prime opportunity to showcase NBA Live 14. 
why does he think that? I, I never quite got that. Eh, because the trailer they put out was pretty crappy. They're not going to be there for PS4 launch. Like by a day, or they, do, we, do they uh, even know when the game's coming out yet? Uh, it's coming out the 19th, and I believe the PS4 is going to launch on the 15th. Which is funny, because uh, Madden and FIFA will launch on the 12th, before the console's out. That does seem odd that they can't get... How, how can you miss NBA Live by a One week. couple days? Yeah, not even. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really sure. I mean, it's a week. And I, I mean, if someone would tell me that it's good, I would probably just buy it digitally. Hmm. Assuming, I don't know, if it's going to be 60 bucks. Check out the old Amazon.com, huh? I don't think it'd have to. I would think it would have to be. I don't like that idea. I also don't like the look of Kyrie Irving's face. But that's just a personal preference. Uh, NBA Live 14 puts players in mo motion. Yeah, stuff. Wait, the, the players will move? Yeah. The ball will bounce separately from the players. That's all bounce, bounce tech. tech. Bounce we all know tech. about that. Bounce tech, ignite, all those buzzwords. Uh, what else we got here? Scott, great news. This will be perfect for you. If you pre-order, you will receive seven premium gold packs for NBA Live 14 Ultimate Team. Please, God, call it nut. <laughs> <laughs> How about we don't? Oh, man, I just got home. I busted this nut bundle. It was awesome. Got a... Got a LeBron. I think you just got your title, by the way. <laughs> what, busted a nut bundle? I mean, if you're going to keep laughing every time I say it. I shouldn't. Ugh, I'm probably too tired for this. Busted a nut bundle. Marked! <laughs> uh, all right, r I mean, honestly, does this surprise anybody? Didn't, didn't, wasn't Ultimate Team announced to be like in NBA Elite at one point? I think so. Before it got canceled? I think it was. Also, Scott. So let's, let, let's face it. This is the only reason they want to get NBA Live out is so they can have NBA Live Ultimate Team. True. I mean, I would. I was literally not going to be surprised if the game wasn't ready and they just shipped Ultimate Team. <laughs> Seven Ultimate Team packs, which is said to be worth well over ten dollars. Kill me, Scott. <laughs> uh, though, how much, how much Ultimate Team can you play in a lifetime? I mean, I don't want to know that answer because I've already exceeded that amount and. It's not worth it. This year's been even worse. Playing Madden and playing NCAA and playing hockey. I mean, yeah, I keep forgetting about NCAA. Uh, ch -ch -ch Ticker Squad against other Ultimate Team gamers. Gotcha. Fans can compete in solo, single player fantasy showdown challenges. It's gonna be Ultimate Team. Yeah, pretty much. It'll ultimate. probably be. A, it'll probably be at least as good as Hockey Ultimate Team. I wonder how. Yeah, I don't know how chemistry is gonna work. If there will be chemistry, if it'll just be that fake chemistry. <laughs> Right. Like I said, the, the one thing, and this is just an ultimate team observation in general, I think the one thing that hockey and soccer have going for them are the fact that you've got such a large pool of players to pull from. Mm -hmm. and, and jerseys and all that, too. Madden Ultimate Team is kind of dull because it's like, oh, look, I'm playing the Titans or I'm playing the Raiders. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, and they're artificially like boosting up some guys' cards where you'll have, like, what's there's one, two, three, four different versions of, of Patrick Peterson for the next-gen thing, plus the version when you combine them makes another four versions, plus the gold card, it's regular, plus I'm pretty sure there's a rookie card. But, like, well, that, FIFA, and, FIFA and NHL, they just have one card for everybody, unless they have a team of the week or something special. Right, right. Well, and then in, in all, and then in Madden, it's... it's um you see so many of the same players, mm -hmm. and they're all the ones that they've given out for free. Yeah. Like, everyone's got Deion Sanders. Everyone has RG3. I yeah, mean, I mean, but those aren't even the best versions of those cards, so... No, they, they aren't, but, it, you know, you see the same players. It's yeah. like, oh, look, there's there's Deion Sanders. Like, I'm, oh, he's on, he's on my team, too. I'm rarely not playing a team with Aaron Rodgers. I feel, like, I I feel like every time I've played, I'm playing Aaron Rodgers. Scott, I'm also that's, far more on a higher level than you. Let's get serious. That's also, that's also true. Uh, still a lot of trail priors, but also a lot, a lot of RG3s, but... Anyway. I haven't actually seen a lot of the uh, the legendary quarterbacks. Mm. I was thinking I would see some Steve Youngs by now, because he's supposed to be pretty legit. Oh, I saw I saw a lot of those early. But I think they've kind of died off now. Uh, those might have been the uh, the GameStop pre-order Steve Youngs and stuff. Yeah. That's what I was using for a long time. Mm. Uh, yeah. So that's NBA Live 14. Scott, are you excited? 
since you're not buying an next-gen console anytime soon. No, I, I'm not excited at all. Are you excited for any basketball game ever? Which reminds me, I need to pick up NBA Live one of these days. I was actually, I, I was thinking about renting it, but I just having, I, and I will, but I just haven't gotten there yet. Well, let me think about picking it up this weekend, and then you think about picking it up this weekend for rental. I'm not picking it up this weekend. All oh, right. for renting it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably still not this weekend. But All right. Well, let's just make sure you do that after this, I pick up the game. Th this is going to be the first weekend that Angela and I are going to have to not be moving since I've moved here. Hmm. So we're going to enjoy that. Well, Scott, what you should do is rent the game, let me know, and then you can sign up at thatsportsgamer.com slash leagues for TSG triple double dribble. Triple dribble? Triple dribble? It was a triple dribble. That's Why would I sign up? Why would I sign up for a league in a game I'm not going to buy? Just to get your feet wet, Scott. That's sportsgamer.com slash leagues. What is the name of it? It is TSG Triple Dribble, which makes no sense, but it sticks with the threes in the names. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. I'm not going to – like, I'll probably rent it from a red box, and if they've, if the PS3 version is the only one they got, that's the one I'll rent. So. I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of that idea. <laughs> Uh, Scott, did you watch the Madden NFL 25 I Feel It gameplay teaser? Uh, gameplay teaser? No, I watched something. I don't remember what it was, though. I mean, they keep putting out videos and then removing videos, and I don't even know what's supposed to be real anymore. Yeah, the the video I saw, I think it was mostly about presentation and lighting and stuff like that. And it, it looked good, but at the same time, it's next-gen console stuff. You expect it to look better. Yeah, and after, after me and Rich went to the city, and this is actually like, the first time I'm really talking about it other than on Twitter... Uh, so we saw, uh, Xbox, what was it, NFL on Xbox, uh, Madden Next Gen, FIFA Next Gen, and a presentation on UFC. Okay. Uh, Xbox, uh, NFL on Xbox, I love all these names, uh, looks pretty cool. If I cared about football, that'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, it's launching so late in the season that it's gonna kinda suck, but... yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. They don't really, they didn't really show any connect stuff, so hopefully that's not uh, really a big I part mean, of it. So, so what is it? Pretty much, while you're watching TV, you can like shrink the TV a little bit <laughs> and get like scores. And, and stuff. you can get like tickers on the side. You can get your like you'll pick your favorite team and you'll see highlights from it or news clips for it. Oh, uh, you can it. set up your fantasy team and it'll show up in there. Now, see, that would maybe the one cool thing is if I could. Uh... You know, like, be watching the game I want to watch and then set the Xbox to, like, give me fantasy updates. Mm -hmm. And you'll get that in the thing, but I was when I was talking to them, I asked them if they're going to have, like, the little, I think they call them toasters. Like, the little things that pop up, like, when you're toasts. playing a game. I think they're toasts. Just toasts? Yeah. Uh, those aren't in for this year. So it won't be, you won't be watching and be like, oh, your quarterback threw a touchdown. You'll just <laughs> see it update in the, in the side thing. Well, still, I mean, yeah, that's kind of nifty. And they said the fantasy right now is uh, only NFL.com. Uh, well, yeah, duh, it's, if NFL's running it, that's all it's right. ever going to be. Uh, like, no, I, suppose, I like... supposedly they're they're working with ESPN, Yahoo, CBS to try to get them all in for next year. Oh, but okay. by the time it launches, you're already in week 10 or 11 of your season. So Yeah, so they may as well not bother this year. And uh, if you're a Red Zone subscriber, you'll be able to watch your Red Zone stuff through there. Oh, no, that's nice. That that is nice. It's uh, yeah. I did did not shell out to get Red Zone here. So, uh, what else? There was something. Uh, apparently they have access to like the NFL dot the NFL, whoever wherever the highlights go. I guess the NFL dot com highlights. Oh, NFL films. Maybe the NFL films highlights. Not the old ones. Only the current ones. Like once a play happens and a highlight gets cut, they'll be oh, one okay. of the first places to have it. Hmm. So. Like, if you're in a commercial, you can go back and watch the highlight of the touchdown they just scored. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we played a little bit with Madden. I mean, everybody's kind, of, everybody's kind of ragging on how Madden looked. I mean, it looked good, but I felt like if I played 360 on, like, a really nice TV, that's what Madden would look like. I mean, uh, okay. it wasn't, like, super mind-blowing. Yeah, like it I, looks I, better, but not like a crazy, huge step forward. But did it feel any different? No, pretty much felt the same. I didn't really notice the the blocking and all the offensive defensive line stuff. I only got to play like a like one half because Rich played the first half and got Drew uh, Brees okay. hurt. So I was kind of running around with a uh, 
Mm-mm. I think Seneca Wallace was still on the team, so I was more worried about getting the hell out of there than chilling out in the pocket and seeing what's going on. <laughs> uh, but the rest of the gameplay stuff pretty much felt the same. Like if I throw one out, the guy's not going to try to stay in. Right. <laughs> uh, what else? The coaches did have headsets, which apparently is a big big thing. You realize that you saying that just made me realize that coaches don't have headsets in Madden currently. Yeah, I try not to think had, about it. I had not realized that until now. Every podcast that talks about the Madden next gen says coaches have headsets. It's like, okay, it's great. Why can't why can't I just pretend that he just took the headset off? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I mean, is there going to be like time progression? Is the lighting going to change and be more realistic? Uh, they've uh, only showed. Uh, the Dolphins Saints games inside the Saints Stadium, which is a dome, so can't course. really see that stuff. That's the kind of stuff I, I'm expecting. And that's what is supposed to be the best stuff in it, and they just haven't showed it off. Which I don't understand why, because that game's probably got to be going gold to get printed, I would assume, at the end of this week, if not next week. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the other thing I'm going to say is NCAA does that really good already. Oh yeah, I know. If you start a game, like if you play like the one o'clock game, it's so like the everything amazing. Well, and, and you can start a game at like any time of day. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, we have to play with Coach Glass, Scott. I don't know if you heard about Coach Glass. I I, I heard about it. I haven't like heard a lot about it though. Okay. Well, if you have some sort of tablet or phone device uh, and an Xbox One, you will be able to hook them together, and you will get. Uh, essentially, on the tablet, it's like three panels, and it'll show uh, what – it's only for defense. Uh, it'll show what uh, – what do they call that? Not formation. Like the offensive package they're running out right. with, like halfbacks, how many running backs, right. how many tight ends, how many wide receivers. Right. Uh, you'll see that, and it'll give you a community-generated list of uh, plays to pick. Hmm. Or you can just go with your normal playbook and pick one of those plays. Uh, and it'll also keep track of the last 64 plays that the computer ran against you. So you can kind of see, or not the computer, your opponent ran against you. So you can, like, pull up, figure out tendencies and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I don't think I would probably never use it. I mean... I mean, here's my first problem. Who, who is using this? Because I'm not going to pick up my tablet to call play, put it mm. down, then pick up the, my controller to run the play, then do it all over again. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and again, I really think it's good for if someone else is playing. Like I told when I was with Rich, I one of the things I talked about, and I think we, I think I mentioned it on, uh, I think it was last week's press or podcast. You can hear the interviews from the day we went, and at the end we wrapped up and talked about it. I think it's really perfect for if you're trying to teach someone Madden. Yeah, that's kind of what it sounds like. Because playing offense in Madden is pretty much you're running the show. You pick your offensive formation, and the defense kind of has to pick their play based on that. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot easier to – it's just a lot easier to run offense in Madden. But if yeah. you're playing – like I said with Rich, if he's playing with uh, his son, his son can be playing. And if the offense runs five wide and he's on defense and he doesn't know how to handle that, he might pick like a four three play, and have oh, two yeah. two D backs covering five wide. Yeah, you know, we we talk about Rich's kid, but I remember when I was just starting to play Madden, mm-hmm. and we're talking like you know late <laughs> we're talking late high school, early college for me. Right. Um, that kind of stuff I didn't understand and was getting burned with all the time. Right, and I mean it's not really Ask Madden because this is going to be taken off uh, like community stuff, but I don't really know right. how that's going to work if it's just based off like the playbooks. And not really, like, who the personnel is on the field. Like, it's not going to be telling you to double-team a guy if it doesn't know that that, team, that guy's amazing. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. But I think it's interesting. I would think about using it just pretty much for the uh, the past plays, just to see what people what they've been going for on, like, oh, yeah. second yeah, and short. The, the online people that just keep using the same play over and over again are going to hate mm-hmm. this. And I, th- I didn't really see how it works, but I think there's a part where you can say... Okay, this guy is beating me short to the right. Give me a defensive play that will stop a play short to the right. Yes. 
How needed is that? And I, I think it actually, I think on one of the screens, I the screenshots I saw, it actually broke the field into like nine spots, like nine Excellent. squares. So Excellent. you had like short, medium, and deep, and left, center, and right. So you can kind of pick plays and target those places individually. That's awesome, and I think sorely needed. Yeah, and I think, I think if you get that, you can teach, you can teach people how to play Madden a lot yeah. better. Yeah. Um. I'm looking forward to it, but of course, you know, you have to have a next-gen console and a smartphone or tablet and Should only Xbox have. One. <laughs> yeah, if this was PS3, that'd be pretty cool because I'm getting... Or if this was PS4, it'd be cool because I'm getting PS4 uh, and not Xbox One to start with, but... Right. Uh, it's cool. I would definitely... If, you, if I had a tablet and I had an Xbox One, I would definitely run the app. I might not pick the plays off it. Actually, you know what? Mm, most likely, I would actually probably pick the play off it. Hmm. Not necessarily the community get, picked one, but I mean, it would give me a good idea, or if I know I'm getting beat somewhere, because if I keep getting beat in the same spot, I'll try things, and usually I will fail to stop that thing from happening over and over again. Yeah, that's, it, that's been the biggest problem with Madden forever, especially if you're mm. playing online. That's why I've been... Like, this year, I started dropping D-tackles into yellow zones... I don't know what that means, but I know if I go to my D tackle and down on the direction pad twice, he drops back and does like a little zone coverage thing. Yeah, that seems to be working. That, too. that seems to be working on passes over the middle. I mean, hey, just picking up stuff. But you know what? I might have learned that quicker if I was using uh, Coach Glass. <laughs> just saying. Uh, but it looks cool. They showed it on a Surface. Which seemed pretty cool. All right, but I assume it'll work on iPad, iPhone, any anything basically. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. Uh, I think they said iOS, Android, and uh, smart okay. and anything, pretty much anything. I think that can run that Xbox app right now, the Probably. smart the smart glass app because it's using right. smart glass. So, all right, should work like that. Uh, hopefully, they can do something on the PS4 that's kind of like that. Actually, I'm really excited for like the next generation version when it does off it. Like, assuming the next gen version will do like offense and defense. You mean like the neck, like Madden, whatever, right. Madden, like Madden 15, 15 whatever. The 15, next one is. 16, 26. I mean, I have no idea what they're going to name the next one. Uh, but yeah, if it could do offense and defense and it had just a little more stuff in it, I think it would be really cool. Then I would think about running all my plays off it. Hmm. And then if you could be like, oh, well, these are the plays that I really like to run. Can I just get like hot hotkeys to these plays? Stuff like that would be cool. Like, I just found this new halfback thing, like a halfback off tackle. Apparently, I'm dominating with it. If I could right. just set that as, like, put this play close so that I can hit it sometime. Or even make custom playbooks easier. I mean, it's cool. Yeah, I'm just trying really hard not to get too excited about any of this stuff, just because I don't want the temptation to be there. Yeah, and... I mean, it's cool, but... I'd say if you were still debating between going PS4 or Xbox 360, or Xbox One, is it going to push you over the edge? Maybe not. No. If you if you if you were leaning towards Xbox One, it's something cool. And if this... and if maybe you have someone that you're that would appreciate the training, it would be cool. Yeah, this is just a sucky time in general to be a gamer on a budget. Yeah. But well, good news, Scott. Because if you order. If you pre-order uh, the Xbox One and PS4 versions of Madden NFL 25, guess what you get, Scott? Let me guess. Ultimate Team stuff? S seven Ultimate Team Pro Packs. How sweet is that? Ugh. Love it. Great for people who play Ultimate Team and useless for everyone else. Sure. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Scott, let's talk about FIFA and the Think Break. How's that sound? Sounds like a plan. Scott, great news. FIFA 14 alternate club cover pack art available now. What? There's I don't a, even know what, I, I'm not even sure what you just said. If you go to easports.com slash UK slash FIFA slash custom slash FIFA 14 dash clubs dash packs. Uh, you can pick from the Barcelona, Everton, Aston Villa, Tottenham, oh, so Man City. Custom, yeah. Custom covers to print out. Okay, cool. Yeah, looks like the back of a jersey. Pretty cool, Scott. That's yeah, not... why, don't any, why, why don't any other games ever do that? Uh, I mean, sometimes they do. You just don't really know about it. They keep it quiet. Like, like the show did during the summer. Like each month was. Uh... 
I think they released all the guys that uh, were in the vote, right? Except Ryan Braun. Mm-hmm. Well, remember Madden let you print out the uh, the Jets version of Brett Favre? Well, yeah, but that wasn't even a different picture. They just photoshopped it. Scott, please. The people at EA Sports work very hard. Don't mock their don't mock their work. <laughs> I thought I thought my favorite part of that whole thing was when they released the like breast cancer awareness version of Madden, and that he was still a Packer on the cover. <laughs> like, really, they redid the cover. <laughs> Scott, Scott, Scott. They still didn't fix that. Uh, let's see here. Scott, great news. FIFA 14 got its second title update, which if you're counting, how many more is that than men? Two. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, they've... <laughs> God, does Madden need one? Uh, they've lofted, balanced, uh, they've balanced, lofted through balls. Always a dangerous play. Uh, balanced attacking headers, which I haven't noticed because I'm a beast on the header, thanks to the, uh, members of FC Pumpers. Shout out to all of them. Scott, you should get uh, FIFA. Uh, what else? Balanced finesse shots. Scott, you know the little finesse shots with a little curl on the end? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can make those from about 40 yards out. That's not cool. Which was pretty awesome. Uh, they fixed freezes while making substitutions. Always good. Fixed uh, <laughs> freezes while entering and exiting the leaderboard. Also awesome. You know what they didn't fix? Is uh, fixing your number in pro clubs. Oh, I thought that. I thought that. Okay, was that broken? Did we talk about that a uh, little bit? I mean, I think it's always broken. This year, it's obviously broken. <laughs> I think it's broken because I said they were going to fix it, and then it's still broken. Possibly. Uh, they corrected the crowd signs at the Signal Iduna Park. I don't know what that means. Corrected the any and GK filters in pro clubs. Jesus Christ, how is that thing still broken every time? <laughs> I feel like every, I feel like the last three FIFAs have had that update. A common thing with EA Sports in general, they seem to have to fix the same things every year. In the fourth string Madden League, tell me if this sounds I mean, if this sounds familiar. The accelerated clock doesn't work in user versus user games and oh, yeah, I heard about franchise. That. I heard you guys really broke that league this year. <laughs> so, so didn't like know, Rich get the commissioner, and <laughs> now we can't give it up. Something like that. <laughs> And on top of that, we can't change the sliders or the time settings. Like, the accelerated clock thing wouldn't be a problem if we could knock the, the time down, but we can't. <laughs> so we're stuck playing these eight-minute quarter games right now that take, like, an hour and a half. It's brutal. Well, Scott, listen. They're listening to the community. Do you know that? you know how I know? Because they tell, because they told you. Yeah, in this press release that says we've responded to the community and upgraded FIFA 14 cover star Stephen L. Uh, to four star skills in online seasons, head to head, and career mode using EA Sports Football Club Match Day. Since the FIFA 14 Ultimate Team ratings and database are separate from the Match Day update, he will be addressed and potentially upgraded in foot at a later date. If you're listening, Scott. I don't even know how to say that guy's name, but I know he's legit. But he's still not four star skills. In uh, foot, which means no one's going to use them. Can I just say NHL never seems to have these problems? Speaking of NHL, we're going to take a break before we talk about NHL. Scott Benz? Scott Benz, you excited for uh, November 2nd? Uh, I'm, I don't know yet. You should be, because you're going to support me in Extra Life. Scott yeah, Benz, yeah. we're going to take a break for uh, one minute. Forgot about that. And I'm going to play the uh, little Extra Life commercial. How's that sound? Sounds like a plan. on November 2nd, 2013. Now it's time for gamers to make a difference. Extra Life is just like a run or a walk or a bike event, except you never have to leave the comfort of your own living room. Just sign up online at extra-life.org to register. Then get friends and family members to sponsor you for about a dollar an hour. On November 2nd at 8 a.m., you play any games you want, on any system you want, for 24 hours, or as long as you can. What's important is that you turn your Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Wii, or even your phone into urgently needed support for local kids. Find out more and sign up to play online at extra-life.org. That's extra-life.org. Play games. Heal kids. Extra Life. This message is made possible by Children's Miracle Network Hospitals in this podcast. All right, and we're back, Scott. All right. Hockey time. Uh, Well, first, Scott, let me tell you a little bit more about Extra Life. 
Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Yeah, November 2nd, as you heard in a little commercial that Scott didn't hear. Yeah, that's why. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, November 2nd, I'll be playing video games for 25 straight hours to support the kids of uh, Children's Miracle Network hospitals across the country and into Canada. Yay, daylight savings time. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome uh, scheduling snafu <laughs> that uh, turns it into 25 hours. Uh, but Scott, great news. I Since I already know that you're going to support me in Extra Life, if you go to thatsportsgamer.com slash charity, uh, you can see a, a large assortment of Ultimate Team cards you could quite possibly win from donating to me or any member of That Sports Gamer crew. Did you know about this, Scott? Yeah, I, I did know about that. You've talked about that a little bit. Like You've got EA or somebody... Actually, is supplying those for you, right? Uh, some of them. EA Sports is going to help us out with uh, two JJ Watts on each console, two Calvin Johnsons on each console, and two Adrian Petersons on each console. Nice. And the way those are going to work are uh, donate X amount of dollars plus their jersey number and change. And so, like, oh, if nice. you do one dollar and ninety nine cents for JJ Watt, you will have one entry to get JJ Watt. If you do a thousand dollars and ninety nine cents, you will have a thousand dollars to get JJ Watt. Literally, if you donate a thousand dollars, I will probably just say, "Hey, EA Sports, can we just give them any card they want?" <laughs> but, uh, and on top of that, so that's two for PS3 and two for Xbox. You have each of those guys. Uh, so again, dollars plus jersey number for cents. Uh, we're also giving away a full offense and a full defense. Scott, how exciting is that? That's awesome. Uh, a full long pass offense featuring way good guys, including a 93 overall chem boosted Aaron Rodgers. Legendary Michael Irving, another Calvin Johnson chem boost card, and it says Deshaun Jackson on the website, but it's actually going to be a 91 uh, AJ Green. Then the defense is also legit, because the defense also has a J.J. Watt. No Packers, though. Yeah, another J.J. Watt. (laughs) Not funny, Scott. Not funny at all. Uh, What else? We have Football Outsiders, Jarrell Casey, uh, Fantasy, Mark Barron. I mean, these teams are legit. Uh, and for the teams, a uh, minimum donation of $10 plus uh, 12 cents for the offense because Scott, who's number 12? Aaron Rodgers. And Scott, who's number 90? You don't know. Uh, $10.90 <laughs> $10. minimum donation for the defense, uh, the 90 cents for Jarrell Casey. Uh, and then oh. for those, for every extra $5 will be an extra entry. Because those are legit. If you want a full squad, that's pretty amazing if you ask me. I see these people out there trying to spend all sorts of money getting scammed by people because they're dumb as hell. I mean, we're doing it for charity, trying to help people out. You get a Patrick Peterson, a Chris Tillman, Antonio Cromartie. Scott needs all these cards. (laughs) Wait, I already know how much Scott is going to donate. So, Scott, are you going to break it up or are you just going to try to get one? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I know you love Adrian Peterson, hometown hero and all. What? Yeah. You love the Vikings. Yes, yes. No, actually, no, I, I am an Adrian Peterson fan. I have to say that. Uh, so yeah, Extra Life, November 2nd. Join us. Scott, join us. <laughs> Next year. Next year, since now you have a real, like, a normal schedule, maybe next year you can try to get off for Extra Life. Yeah, that that is entirely possible. All right. Everybody remember to remind Scott next year. <laughs> Speaking of charity, EA Sports and NHL 14 partnered up. Uh, with the NHL and NHLPA to fight cancer, of course. Uh, what is this, October? Every year is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm actually wearing my uh, Save Second Base little wristbandy thing because uh, I went to a home run derby for charity this past weekend. Oh, fun. Uh, so what are they doing, Scott? What are I don't know. What are they doing? I haven't seen much other than there's some Ultimate Team cards that you could possibly get. Yeah, Scott, there's going to be some Ultimate Team cards, uh, some very rare ones. They're more purple than pink. <laughs> uh, I see Steven Stamkos Dion Phaneuf I don't know who that guy is I'm absolutely terrible with hockey player names <laughs> They are kind of tricky uh, They'll also be donating $10,000 To the Hockey Fights Cancer Cause Alright Patrice Bergeron, I can say that name, that's good uh, Eric Condra I'm going to take that uh, oh, Is this like their team of the week? Uh, I think it's pretty much going to be the team of the week. One, two, three, okay. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys. That sounds like nine, right? What's a four, five? It's a little more than a team, but okay. Oh, well, maybe like two squads. Yeah, or lines. Uh, 
Hold on, let me click here, see if we got anything else. Hmm. Oh, these pictures of UFC games always look terrifying. <laughs> I'm just going to show how deformed people get. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So go buy packs of NHL Ultimate Team. $10,000. That's literally just the same thing. They just copied and pasted it. Uh, mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, THQ sues EA over transfer of UFC license. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is, is the first thing that anyone else said when they heard this story is, wait a minute, how can a dead company sue anybody? Uh, yeah, pretty sure that's exactly the first thing that everybody said. <laughs> but apparently, from the little I've researched, and by little I've researched, I mean I've listened to uh, Samit Sakar explain it on the recent Press Row podcast, uh, EA Sports was in talks to buy uh, UFC. I don't know if it was UFC, or I don't know if it was THQ, the whole thing, or THQ, just the uh, UFC thing. Hmm. Uh, and in that, like, I guess when companies are going to buy each other, there's a whole bunch of, uh, like, they get to look at their books and everything. Yeah. And they can see how they're doing. I think that's how Microsoft did a lot of stuff. They went in, they learned a lot about a company, then stole all their stuff. Uh, don't hold me accountable for that, because that's not completely true, I'm going to assume. <laughs> Uh, but I guess EA Sports knew that uh, THQ was going out of business. Seems like everybody knew THQ was going out of business. I guess apparently not the this company Zufa, which is the parent company of UFC. <laughs> Somehow that doesn't surprise me, but okay. Uh, I guess THQ didn't tell them. So well, I guess makes sense. I guess they would have made more money from EA if they had bought them before THQ closed. But since well, they they did. Remember, like, remember no, but they that? would have gotten they would have gotten more if THQ hadn't closed and EA Sports well, yeah. would have bought THQ and took over that license. I think they would have made more money than waiting for the bankruptcy and then buying UFC. Right, right, and I think because um, remember if um, EA getting the UFC what, or basically THQ losing them was kind of the point where everyone went, "Oh, THQ is dying mm -hmm. fast." Or maybe it was even when they said they weren't going to buy them, that it was like, oh, yeah, not yeah, even EA Sports I, is going to save them. <laughs> it was one of those things where we, we knew THQ was in trouble, and then, oh, no, now they lost the UFC, and that and they, like, they had just signed a new big deal, and now they're getting out of it. Mm -hmm. Like, there are problems here. Well, I think uh, between the first, what was it, sales of the UFC franchise dropped over 70% from the first to third release. That's uh, pretty big. Yeah. I really think... Uh, how do I say this? I feel like UFC... I think a lot of people expected UFC to kind of be like a flash in the pan kind of thing. And it's actually done pretty good for a long time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, you know, they've got... They're doing, like, you know, their work shows now. And... Right. But I think a lot of people thought, like, oh, this just isn't boxing and this will go away soon. But, <laughs> obviously, not the case. Uh... Yeah, and then also they tried to make it like a year-over-year -year release, and I mean, I don't think for games like this and boxing, that's really a great idea. No, it, it's not. It, I, there's just not enough turnover. Yeah. Even if there's just new characters, new, not characters, but new fighters and stuff. I just watched Here Comes the Boom. Great flick. Go watch it. Kevin James, hilarious guy. Everybody says I look like him, and I hate everybody. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for uh, UFC. Oh, also. Scott, because I completely forgot to finish my story from earlier. Uh, we got to see the UFC presentation. They look like they're taking a lot of time to make that look good. Because uh, the guy we talked to, can't remember his name off the top of my head, uh, he worked on Fight Night Champion. Okay. So I'm hoping that means there's going to be a sweet uh, story mode. <laughs> but we'll see about that. Uh, but they were just showing off kind of the stuff where it's like how the, how the guy's feet are like anchored to the ground. And it's not like fake movement, just like gliding across the mat. Yeah, uh, we you, saw some... you could see that sometimes with uh, with like UFC three. Yeah, we saw more of the uh, body deformation stuff. Like when you're getting choked out, you'll see the blood go out of their face. Um, wow, that's that's kind of crazy. Uh, what else? Uh, like they're actually gonna have emotion. Like they showed stuff with like with and without the emotion engine, like turned on. Oh, so, so like if you watch like the old EA MMA game, it's just like two guys just holding each other, mm -hmm. but just like staring into space. But now it's like you see the guys like wrenching, like their faces are wrenching when they're putting in the moves tighter and stuff. Like, ow, that hurts. And like submission stuff is going to be like multi-stage where you like grab the guy 
and then you'll have to like lock the leg in and then lock the arm in. Oh, okay. So looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, that that honestly, of the next gen sports games, that might be the one I'm the most interested in. Yeah, you know, we didn't get to see any like real gameplay footage or any hands on or anything uh, with that, but okay. But it looks pretty cool. Looks like it's coming along. I hope that is good. I just get worried. Like Fight Night was so Fight Night is so hard to get right, and that's just two arms. <laughs> you know, so I feel like FIFA. Oh, uh, not FIFA. Uh, UFC comes down to the completely down to the controls. Yeah. So I, I think it's going to be great, and it just needs really good controls. I, I, I know EA MMA had a lot of potential. Mm. So if if they can now get that into UFC, it's going to be a great game. I think. Right. So, I think it can be great. Just to, hopefully they don't try to roll it out every single year. But like, I, like yeah, that I assume would, they will. That's where they could downfall. And the UFC might dictate a little bit of that too. They they might say, hey, we want a game out every year. So and hopefully they but, realize from that whole THQ thing that maybe that's not the best idea. Yeah, I honestly I, I'm surprised uh, WWE can get gets away with a game every year. I'm. Because they, they didn't used to. They can get away with it if they keep doing great story stuff. Yeah. Scott Bins, thank you for the beautiful segue into WWE 2K14 will feature the streak game mode. And according to uh, CagesideSeats.com, it sounds awesome. I, now, you, now, you guys you tweeted at me this afternoon, so I sort of got the gist of this. Mm hmm and it's not I was suddenly I thought it'd be like another storyline mode where you played through the streak but no it's not that at all yeah well it looks like it's got the defeat the streak defend the streak I assume those are two different things I assume I mean they are because I, there's two different things on here well I, I read about it tell so me all about it well basically it's more like a gauntlet match mode mm -hmm. And defend the streak will be, you know, pick the Undertaker, either the either like the retro Undertaker or the current Undertaker, and you know just survive a gauntlet. I don't know if it's of thirty guys or what, but and then the opposite is true of if you go to try and beat the streak, which apparently is just pick any pick any character and then try and beat an, you know one of the Undertakers in the game. On and... super difficult mode, right? Yeah, like like a quote unquote off the charts fifth difficulty level that will incorporate supernatural elements to mirror the Undertaker's near mythic WrestleMania aura. Right, it, it, like you know, you only have the you, this only happens when you're playing this mode. Like this won't be available to you to use mm -hmm. when you're doing it the other way around or playing as the Undertaker any other time. Thank God. So I assume that's just going to be like a WrestleMania match where you fight the Undertaker, who's super hard. That's what I'm getting at, and there might even be like the crazy stuff that happens. Like you'll go for a pinfall, and there'll be like a cutscene that plays where he kicks out or something. But... Eh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I, I don't think it'll, it'll be cool, but I don't think it's uh, like I was hoping maybe include the guys in the game that aren't already there. Like, <laughs> let's get Giant Gonzalez in a game. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Like the defend the streak would would kind of be like the run through of all the players that he's fought. Yeah, and I think like the the WrestleMania mode already has pretty much every match that they couldn't get with the roster they've got. Yeah, it had the, it had the pretty big ones. Yeah, well it, well, it had, it would only have King Kong, Bundy, Diesel, um, Kane. Shawn Michaels. Yeah, the, well, then one of the Shawn Michaels matches, one of the Triple H matches, and CM Punk. Yeah. And Ric Flair. I don't think they did the, they don't think they did the WrestleMania X8 match. Or the, or the first match with Triple H. Everyone forgets they had three matches at WrestleMania. Yeah, it would be cool if... Because I think it's just going to be, like, high score. Also, how's the score going to work? That's interesting. Yeah, well, and let's face it. The leaderboards will somehow be hacked and busted on day one. But mm -hmm. we're going to be <laughs> playing this on... Uh, we're going to be on PS3, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Actually, I'm kind of back in the... It's, it's a little better, but I'm kind of back in the NHL mode where I don't know how I'm going to pay for this at this exact moment. Well, you should figure it out because it comes out October 29th, and I definitely want to be playing it during Extra Life. Right. It may it may be buy that or donate, by the way. And I'm not I'm not kidding, unfortunately. Hmm. So well, Scott, depending on how your pay schedule goes, because also on November 16th, assuming my PS4 gets here and I have FIFA, I'm going to do 14 hours of FIFA, which I will also do towards Extra Life. Just saying. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
the streak? We were kind of talking about it last week about uh, if they would well, do yeah. something with it. Well, yeah, last week I said, well, why not just like maybe that include the streak, mm-hmm. <laughs> like uh, just include all those matches. Right. You know, get I think who who would be missing? It'd be it'd be uh, Snuka, Jake the Snake, Giant Gonzalez. Um, they've got King Kong Bundy, they've got Diesel, uh, Sid, and the Big Boss Man. I think everyone else is already in the game. Huh. Uh, that's enough about WWE. We talked way too much about it last time. Yeah, it felt like that took 30 years. Scott, good news. Do you have a GameStop near you? I do. There is an outside possibility that you'll be able to get to try out a PS4 kiosk at said GameStop. Uh, and possibly be able to play Knack, Drive Club, Skylanders, Swap Force, NBA Live 14, and Madden NFL 25. Does that excite you? Actually, that does, because I, sh- I do want to check out the new the new consoles. I certainly can't buy one anytime soon, but I want to check them out. All right, Scott. That's uh, pretty much all the news. I do all have right. uh, some amazing news for you, Scott. D- what kind of how amazing is it? Uh, amazing that you know how we always talk about asking people for to rate and review the show on iTunes. Not that I've ever figured out what that does, but okay. Apparently, about two months ago, JLMatic fifty four did leave us a review. What? And guess what we did? <laughs> never read it. Never checked. Uh, great show, five stars, obviously. Uh, and I quote: "Great show for any and every fan of sports gaming." TJ offers insightful opinions and keeps listeners up to date with the latest and greatest in the realm of gaming. His co-host Scott Bin, spelt incorrectly. That's an editorial note. Two ends. Uh, is exceptional as well, offering his take on everything in his in the discussion. It's a must listen for new, young, old, sim or arcade, whatever. Have you, sports gamer? Awesome. I mean, nice. that doesn't sound Englishly correct. Lessons. It's a must listen for the new, old, young, sim or arcade, whatever. Oh, whatever. Have you, sports gamer? What have you? I think is what he's looking for. Uh, oh, whatever. Have you? Works for me. All right. We have six five-star ratings, Scott. Awesome. You can leave ratings without reviews. That doesn't sound cool. But we do have uh, nine ratings. Six of them are five-star. Awesome. Some jerk left a one-star. Ah. Oh. Mm, but he did not leave a review. Because the most critical five-star, or the most critical review we have is four and a half stars. Or four stars, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. We're pretty awesome, according to... Uh, six people. According to those six people that really loved us. All right. Uh, so you can love us if you go on iTunes, uh, search for That Sports Camera Show, and you can uh, rate and review us over there. Uh, what else we got? You can always hit us up on Twitter, at That Sports Gamer. Scott Benz, where can they find you? At Darth Obvious. Uh, you can also like the show on Facebook.com slash That Sports Gamer, or leave a comment below this post. Uh, this is also going to be on YouTube.com slash That Sports Gamer, so you can leave a comment down there, like the video, subscribe to the channel while you're there. Uh, you can also send us feedback at feedback at thatsportsgamer.com. Uh, as I said, you can find us on iTunes and also Stitcher Smart Radio. Uh, all the links are on thatsportsgamer.com. On the right, there's the uh, link to iTunes, Stitcher, and an RSS feed that essentially any podcast player should be able to read. Uh, I already said YouTube, twitch.tv slash thatsportsgamer. Guess what? Their chat sucks all the time, so that's why we're on YouTube tonight. Uh, but follow over the channel over there so you can see when I go live. And uh, I think we're going to keep recording shows live. Uh, that seems to work well. Okay. Uh, what else we got? We're going to do a PS4, Madden NFL 25, G, uh, GM Connected is NHL, uh, a Madden NFL 25, what the hell do they even call them, Scott? They changed Connected the name franchise. Right Connected Franchise. Uh, you can sign up for that over at thatsportsgamer.com slash leagues, as well as the NBA 2K14 league on X. The Xbox 360 that we talked about. Uh, what else, Scott? Extra Life, November 2nd. Don't forget, sign up to join the team or just donate to us. And that's sportsgamer.com slash charity. Shows you all the cool stuff that you can get for Ultimate Team. Uh, that's sportsgamer.com slash extra life. Gives you all the links to extra life that you need. Scott Bins. Yeah. Do you have anything else? I got nothing else. You have nothing else. Then you know what I have? The, the, the theme song to play at this point? I have the outro music all queued up. Awesome. <laughs>